That is so good. What are you saying? Same for us, bye. I'm just gonna keep this on for um like one for my ears. <laughs> I think you like this. Huh? I think you like this. When did they put this stuff on the ground? Good morning. Not morning, good afternoon. It's a new day in the city. This is a video on how to survive a snowstorm in New York City. It's snowing hard. I'm so happy. Lucas is very, very happy about this. I am not. He's a California boy, so he's always excited to see snow. I am a Massachusetts girl, so I have just had Babe, I enough. Know you'd like this spot. No, I've just about it had enough. All I've just about had enough, huh? It hasn't snowed all winter. Yeah, that's good. It should have been that way. We love global warming. So we're going to Trader Joe's right now to do some grocery shopping to brace ourselves for the storm stock up on some goods i'm just kidding no. we actually just don't have any food so we're going to grocery we're going grocery shopping at trader joe's it's like about a 10 10 to 12 minute walk not bad we bring backpacks so that we can actually life hack bring a backpack to grocery store shopping if you live in new york city or if you live in like a city where you have to walk with your groceries bring a backpack so you can wear your groceries on your back instead of having to hold it in one hand and then keep switching it from one hand to the other when it gets tired you know so yeah um any words i love it <laughs> okay. so nice i will see you guys do you have the list yep okay I said that so, you know, I got scared because last time we forgot our list, but we have it. And so, I'll show you what we get at Traders. Salads. Secured, literally. We got so much. Our total was 102. I will do a grocery haul when we get there, but when we get home. Okay, we are back home, and this is our Trader Joe's haul. Jalapenos. Jalapenos. Two types of mushrooms. Oh. I hate when it does that. Berries. For our morning smoothie. A purple onion. A white onion. Some mangoes. Lemons. Avocado. Organic tofu. Three of them. Broccoli. Toasted sesame seed oil. Soy sauce. Garbanzo beans. Ginger lemon probiotic seltzer. 100% pineapple juice. The best in New York City. Orange juice. Oat beverage. Oat milk, but they call it oat beverage. Because I guess it's not milk. Organic ground turmeric. Is this spaghetti squash or just squash? Spaghetti. Spaghetti squash. Kale. Cilantro. Carrots. Brown beach mushrooms. Organic. So we got two different kinds of mushrooms. Cucumbers and ginger. I don't know why Trader Joe's doesn't have actual gingers that you can peel and cut. They only have those- Weirdo ginger. Yeah, pre-packaged ginger and I'm not sure why. Let's see, I don't think I put anything else in here or in here. Cool. And that is our Trader Joe's haul. 
It's going to keep us nice wow. and warm and fed through this snow storm. Everything. We should make a nice soup. Yeah, we should. How do we make Only soup? One can. I'm going on a journey to heal my gut. I'm going on a gut health journey because I feel like I, I'm so bloated constantly. It doesn't matter if I ate or didn't eat what time of the day it is like i used to have like morning skinny um, like morning abs she's skinny and gorgeous tell her in the comments <laughs> make sure she knows that how beautiful and skinny and gorgeous she is. <laughs> no but i used to have like flat a flat stomach in the morning and now i don't even have my morning skinny stomach now now i just wake up bloated all the time and the rest of my body is super petite and then my stomach just looks like that so I'm doing a little gut health journey. Where's my mango so chunks? Where's my mango chunks? Is it not in the fridge? It's in the bag. Did we unpack the bag? With oh, the bag? Yeah, guys! So I was thinking, like, bro, there's something. We, we have another bag. We didn't unpack. That's how you know we're lightheaded. Of course, we should have known because the weekly, the flowers of the week haven't even been shown. So last week it was eucalyptus and the other green one, I don't know. This week it is Dotty Micro Palm and some baby's breath. I don't like getting baby's breath because I don't like the way it smells. It smells like boo-boo. But I feel like this combination matches. And it kind of looks like snow. <laughs> oh, it bit. does. So I'm just like it trying to match the vibe. But I don't want to get rid of the eucalyptus yet, honestly. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But yeah, we got mango chunks, apples, my favorite. Bananas, not ripe at all. Some oranges. And a bag of apples. Oh, okay. And that completes our haul. And I'm about to eat because I'm hungry. I'm not even going to wash my hands because I don't care. Mama and Papa. That's right. We are going to Friedman. Friedman Bender. I've been wanting to go to Friedman Bender for probably two years now. I talk about Friedman Bender all the time. Just about. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, a lot. To him only. I don't think I've ever mentioned Friedman Bender. It's a gallery, but it's like a design gallery. Lucas said that one time we went, but I don't remember it. And he said that we went and it was closed, so we walked away. And but I don't even remember ever like going there. So tonight is date night. <gasps> Should I wear my brown shoes? Yes. With socks. I was gonna wear these boots. Oh, that works. But it's kind of warm today, so I think I can pull these out and like wear socks with them. I think that would be so cute. These are from Cezanne. I will have them linked in the description box. I got them recently and I haven't had a chance to wear them because it's been snowing and freezing out. We're going to feed my banda. We're going to feed my banda. It's date night. It's date night. We just had tofu and kimchi. My legs warm. Fun socks from Madewell. Nice. We are ready to head. Earrings are from Amazon. Got this ring at a flea market. I don't mean to flip you off. And we are on our way. And all of a sudden, I have to pee. See you guys at. Friedman Benda.
We have been doing a 21 day fast to commence the beginning of the year or to commence the year. Yeah, to commence the year. And it has been really challenging. No meat, no sugar, no processed foods, no rice, nothing that I love. We're in the last week. We're in the last week of the fast. So things are getting easier. Like we're kind of learning like what meals, what meals we can eat and what tastes good. So we've kind of gotten the hang of it. So we're making dinner and I want to show you guys what we're making. We have some cucumber. Also, most of what we've been eating is <laughs> cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, mushrooms, tofu, beans, fruits and vegetables, and nuts. Should I put so, um, jalapeno in it? Yeah, sure. It's a version of the Daniel Fast. I, I'm hesitant to say it is the Daniel Fast. Why? Because Daniel only ate vegetables. And like we've been eating like tofu. If you Google Daniel Fast, there's like a list of things that you can eat. We're eating what it says you can yeah, eat. Yeah, we're eating what it says you can eat online, but in the Bible, Daniel only should have each vegetables and water. So I think we have it a little bit easier than he did, but it's still True. been so hard. Like True. so hard. Because you guys know we love we love our meats, we love our rice. We haven't been able to eat honestly anything not even milk like not even sugar not even honey nothing. not even processed vegan food no so but it's been challenging and that's what a fast is it's supposed to challenge you and get you closer to god so yeah we're making a salad and we're making we're gonna have maybe some spaghetti with the salad what do you think yeah yeah who came up with that daniel fast website where it's like not just vegetables, because that is what it says, you right. I haven't really thought about that, but. <laughs> I don't know. Like, who made up that website? Did they talk to God? Yeah, maybe they talked to God and God was like, beans and tofu is fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine we only had to eat vegetables. I would be dead. That would be the, <laughs> the hardest thing. Guys, this is what submission looks like. I think we should use the medium-sized pot for the spaghetti. He thinks we should use the big pot. So we're using the big pot. Okay, here is our dinner. We always eat family style out of one bowl, but we have pasta with mushrooms and onions and chili oil this is whole wheat pasta i think it's i think it's good for the fast and then this is our salad with kidney beans carrots cucumber jalapeno lettuce and drizzled some lemon oh and then we made hummus and like made it really watery and that's our dressing in the first week we were really like we were not eating well at all and we didn't know what to eat we didn't know what to eat so it was really hard but i think as the days have been going on we've been developing recipes and just realizing how much you can actually like make with vegetables and basically a strict vegan diet we've been loving the no sugar thing i think that that's something that we'll try and incorporate once the fast is over is no sugar and then um, processed foods as well like having no processed foods and eating everything from kind of scratch i guess has also been really nice so i feel like and also with my gut health journey i feel like this has been really good for my gut we're about to watch um the bear we've been watching the bear this is our first meal without mary mary is our hmm. christmas tree that we just True. discarded
Sorry, we kept a piece of her. Oh yeah, we kept a little piece of her. So we'll always remember our first Christmas tree. Okay, we're about to watch and eat. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm starving. I think I only ate breakfast today. Really? Oh, I did have like a couple snacks. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for this meal. Bless it to our bodies. Thank you for your strength, your grace, and thank you for your love that we feel all around us mm -hmm. endlessly. We bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hello, so I'm just, I'm back from the gym. <laughs> Lucas is taking a nap. Hey. I'm back from the gym. Took a shower, put on some blush, some earrings. Feel alive before I start work. I have a lot of computer work today. I have like editing days dedicated like editing like I just know I'm gonna be editing all day and then I have like other days where I'm just doing like admin stuff so today I'm working on brand identity for the podcast and mostly podcast stuff and then some stuff for partnerships that I am working on and so I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing because I thought that some of this might be helpful and it's been fun. I used to be a big Tumblr girl so I was always stop looking at me I want more chips I used to be a big Tumblr girl so I was always like I loved customizing my website on Tumblr like finding fonts and themes and like messing with the HTML code and all this stuff and I kind of lost that passion but now I'm kind of getting that passion again working on the podcast stuff because I I mentioned in a couple of vlogs back that my you know graphic design Your passion. my graphic design is my passion um mentality <laughs> you in the background was like kind of fading because I didn't want to like reimagine a new like identity for the podcast cover page which that's not what I'm gonna do at the moment but this is the first step to that and like I said in the video 2024 is not the year to be like oh I don't feel like it like we're doing what we need to to make our dreams, dreams oh, yeah. come true so right now I'm working on having like a cohesive thumbnail for the podcast YouTube page. So what fonts, what colors, something that's going to be consistent throughout all the thumbnails because my thumbnails have just been very lazy and like I want to make them better. So right now I'm looking at free fonts I went on TikTok and I just looked at like what are some fonts that graphic designers recommend and like some font websites. I know thefont.com, that's what I used like for years whenever I need a new font for editing or anything. I found some new ones, some new websites too. So there's behance.net, there's dirtylinestudio.com, there's freefaces.gallery and so I... I'm just like browsing these websites, seeing what fonts look good to me so I can start working on the thumbnail. I posted an episode today, but I haven't posted it on YouTube yet because I'm trying to bring this whole thumbnail, you no know, identity, I'm trying to make it right now before I upload it. <laughs> um, so I kind of need to hurry up because it's two o'clock. Honestly, maybe I could just post it anyway and then fix the thumbnail later. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Keep chugging along, baby. Thank you might not be seeing exactly what you wanted to see, but you're seeing results. 
you're seeing money, you're seeing consistent views, and you're seeing slow but strong breakthroughs. So keep going. Thank you. Things are happening. Thank you. So the podcast has been uploaded or it's scheduled, and then I'm going to work on the thumbnail. It's pretty awesome. At the moment. Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of myself. Clara just texted me. Engagement planning is coming up, so we will be doing meetings. Have your Excel sheets ready. What? <laughs> Engagement is the traditional wedding. Why am I so excited? I'm so excited to have Clara on board with me for this one. Let's get some more gifts. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for gifts and Ghanaian food. <laughs> I gotta start saving. Babe. Yeah. You have money. How much do you think I'm about to spend? Like a thousand? I have no idea. I have no idea. Guys, what do you think I'm worth? <laughs> You're priceless. Thank you. Lucas has to basically buy me. I already bought her. <laughs> so basically my mom sent save the dates and she spoke to, to Tanya and like the caterers. And she what? And she spoke to Tanya, okay. my hairstylist. Okay. And she spoke to the caterer as well. Oh wow. It has begun. I'm really excited to have another one. It's gonna be so fun. I'm glad I'm not planning this one. That's all I know. But aren't you excited? I am very excited. Same, babe. You get to experience I also, it again. I, I did. so lucky. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I did message my hairstylist, but let's see if she sent anything to me. I'm a bug. What did my mom say? Actually, that's not what we're doing. We're Focusing on the thumbnail. Okay. Okay, speaking of brand, Trevor Bai. Some of you guys know Trevor if you've been here for a while because he's been in a couple videos. Trevor is Andrew's brother younger brother he made my first podcast jingle like the dun. Dun, 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 dun yeah he made that and i've been using that jingle for the past four years or three years and i told him that i want a new jingle like a new jingle for the podcast since we're we're starting a new season i was like okay can you please make me another one and he made me two and he just sent them to me i actually asked him like two weeks ago and they just arrived just in time for this vlog as i'm working on identity or brand identity not my identity i know my identity so let me play them for you let me play them for you i'm so excited i'm so excited Mm. The reason I even had the first jingle from him was because he was showing me that he had made some like Afrobeats. He was trying out Afrobeats for the first time. That was three years ago. And and I loved it and I was like, I can see, I can feel the Afro in it. So I told him, can you please try another Afrobeats or I'm a piano type vibe for this one? Kind of bring in the cultural element of welcome to the kingdom and i think this is afrobeats yeah this to me screams this to me screams afrobeats the other one i think is the ama piano the second one listen mm. that is so good I love that. That's so good. That's so good. And he was he was saying, if they're trash, let me know. What? <laughs> I'm like, I love it. Thank you. He he delivered. And so I have a new jingle. I think I'm gonna use the second one for an intro and then the last one for an outro. Oh, I'm so excited. There's nothing that brings a podcast together like a good like 
jingle in the beginning where you can recognize the podcast by that. So I'm excited because I haven't had one in a while. Yes, babe. Okay. <laughs>